Hi, my name is Corey Smith and welcome to Build Your First Quadcopter, Part 2. In this video we're going to be mounting the motors and soldering the ESCs. First we need to screw the motors onto the mounting plates. There's four holes and there's four screws, so I'm just going to use the screws from the NTM accessory pack and then screw those in. Now we're going to mount the prop adapters onto the motors. There's three hex screws here, and those are also from the accessory pack. Now that we're done with that, we can mount the motors to the arms with the screws that came with the frame. If the holes on the mounting plates don't match the frame, then the mounting plates are upside down. Now it's time to move on to the fun stuff, soldering the ESCs. Not really, it's kind of evil. There's two circuits on this board. There's the negative loop and the positive loop. Before we start soldering, we need to mark and then cut the wires on the ESCs. The black wire should be slightly longer than the red wire. Before we turn the iron on, we're going to need some 6040 rosin core solder and possibly some helping hands. After that, we can turn our soldering station on and turn it to about 550 degrees Fahrenheit. So what we're doing here is just putting solder on all of the connections that we're going to use. There's two connections on the left that I'm putting solder on just in case I want to install lights later on. Now we're going to cut the insulator off of the ESC wire, twist it, and then do what's called tinning. Tinning is basically coating the wire in solder so that it bonds properly to the solder on the power distribution board. It's a lot easier to tin your wire if you coat it in what's called flux, which is basically a fluid that allows the solder to stick to the wire better. But I don't have any of that, so I'm not using it. Now we just have to heat up the connections on the power distribution board while at the same time heating up the wires for the ESCs, trying to coat everything in solder. Make sure your connection is strong by pulling in different directions on the wire. If you hear any type of popping or cracking, then that means you have what's called a cold soldering joint. If that's the case, then you should re-solder the connection. If you save the wires you cut from your ESCs, then you can make battery plugs with that and 4mm bullet connectors. That way it can work with banana connectors that come standard with Turnergy batteries. Or you can just buy banana connectors. So with these wires, I'm doing exactly the same thing I did with the ESCs. I tin the wires, I put some solder on the connections, and then I heated both of them up together. And after that, you are done! Congratulations! You've just completed one of the hardest parts of building a quadcopter. If you like this video, please subscribe so you don't miss the next part where we'll be mounting all the electronics.